everyone welcome back to my channel it is your girl tamika hello gorgeous all right so in today's video sorry but i'm gonna have to do a little bit of explaining as to the reason why i am not losing any weight on keto all right so before we even get into this video please make sure you check out my previous videos of me starting keto started keto on august 22nd that was actually a tuesday i have my notepad here believe in starting anywhere it doesn't matter when i feel it i am going to move into it okay all right so let's get into the reasons why i am not losing weight maybe you can help me out i do want to explain this is not my first rodeo on keto i have been doing keto plenty of times since 2020 so this actually is my fourth round and to my surprise I am not losing any weight on keto. And please make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Oh, embarrassing. I have never experienced this before. Usually within a week, I can lose up to eight pounds. No problems. I don't have to track anything. It's just eating, you know, my high protein, make sure I'm getting in my fats and then lowering my carb intake, lowering down to about 25 or less net carbs. This week, I only lost three pounds. If you remember the video, I did say, yes, I am losing weight, but I am not going to give a weekly update. I will only give an update on my weight loss when I've surpassed four weeks. Well, I'm here because something is going wrong. I decided to track this time. I felt like it was simple enough for me to do. I use Lose It, L-O-S-E-I-T. It is not a monthly payment. It is only a yearly payment versus the you know all the other apps that everyone is using that are like the my fitness pal however that is a monthly type deal it was within my macros and i was actually doing it the strict way making sure i meet my high fats and my moderate protein and make sure my carb intake was good that's how i was able to lose my three pounds all right so i did not check to see if i was in ketosis i actually felt like i was good I don't know what in the world was going on, but I actually was like feeling energized and just feeling so much better. My bloating went away. Then, all right, that was the 22nd. Here it is, the 28th of August, we have a hurricane coming. And for whatever reason, your girl decided to buy some chocolate. And not only did I buy chocolate, but I bought the the worst chocolate of all, but it is like my kryptonite. I just love it. And that's the Ferrero Rocher chocolate. I bought the white chocolate and the dark chocolate and I bought the big squares. This was my first experience, my first hurricane experience by myself. I ate a little bit, I ate way too much chocolate than expected. So I knew that, you know, I was going to probably gain about a pound or two. And please note that I do weigh myself just to get an accurate count. Like, okay, how is my body doing? I don't do it because of I am like just anxious about my weight. No, I do it just to see where my body is at, where I can scale back on. However, it's just for tracking purposes. That's it. All right. So I didn't gain any weight. All right. So then... I started taking the carb control for on those higher carb days, okay? Now, I know you're probably like, girl, you done messed up. That's why you're not losing weight. All right, so of course, right. I did not lose weight my second week, all right? So then I was like, you know what? I'm getting a little frustrated here, and I don't know what exactly, what is going on. I was able to get back into the swing of things swing of things by eating my regular keto meals like as soon as i eat something that is higher carb i go right back into keto like i don't have a problem doing that all right because i know how cutting back carbs makes my body feels good so i have no idea why once i got back on keto i was not dropping any more weight so I forgot to mention the first week I went from 173 to 169. I was so excited and so happy to do that. And then of course, the second week I jumped up to 172 and then early midweek of this week, which was, where are we at? 
I would say around the first week of September, which was Labor Day, which was last weekend. So around the 5th and 6th, I noticed that I was, you know, I lost the weight. I went back down to 170. All right. So my weigh-in day for me doing keto is on Mondays. It's not on Sundays. It's not during midweek. Again, I'm just tracking just to see what is it that I need to scale back on or do I need to add a little bit more fats or, you know, cut back on the protein. Sometimes you have to like adjust because you can be eating too much protein or you can be eating too little less of fat. All right. So that's the only reason why. All right. So I went down to 170 and then I was like, you know what? Let me get some ketone strips. I'm not a big fan of those. Um, I did try them out the first time I ever started keto when, in 2020. I did it like a month after I had started keto. All right, so the ketone strips is good. Guide. It is like a good guide to see exactly, you know, where you at. But the first three to four days, like, girl, I was not hitting those those ketones for whatever reason. I was like, you know what? Let me scale down from 25 and go down to 10. So I did 10 net carbs and I was strict. So I started that on, I think it was Wednesday, September 6th. So by Friday, September 8th, I produced the highest amount of ketones and I was like, it's like a purplish and then you got like a pink color and then it's like no color, it's just neutral. So I was in the purple zone. So I knew I was producing a lot of ketones. I can feel it. I was feeling the keto flu. You know, you get that little taste in your mouth and you know, you're feeling tired. So I, you know, just very fatigued. I was like, okay, cool, I'll be fine. Why is it that I got on the scale I think it was Friday morning or yesterday morning, Saturday. The scale said 173. No, it was Saturday morning. It said 173. Now, I'm going to go back to Friday. Friday, I was feeling good. Had my little nice meal, high fat meal. And I believe what it was that messed me up with my weight was I tried the keto brownie. Now, I'm going to give you a reason why I felt like I was producing a lot of ketones. is because I, my total carbs, I tried to keep it, the original total carbs, between 15 to 20 below. Then that way, the sugar alcohols is not high. But when I got up this morning, I was like, okay, I'm 171. Mm, still not satisfied, still not happy. But I was like, I feel good on the inside. Like, I'm just not understanding why the scale is not reflecting that. And for those who do not know that I used to be on Wegovy, all right? So I started Wegovy for the beginning of the year. I was on it for four months and lost 20 pounds. So I'm like, is it because I already initially lost 20 pounds and I've been able to maintain that weight and, you know, my body is just, it's just not feeling it? I don't know. So what I decided to do was get the scale. Um, no, I'm sorry, not get the scale because that's the problem right here, right now. Okay. So what I decided to do was measure my body. All right. And compare it to the last time I measured. Think about how my body feels and how I've been feeling lately since I've been doing a little strict keto. Fit into a pair. I wore a pair of jeans to work that I have not worn in years. I only wore them one time. They were from Walmart and those were like the really skinny jeans that you have to go up two sizes and it only comes in odd sizes. And when I put those jeans on, it was loose around my waist and I felt good. The first time I wore them to work, they were squeezing my thighs so tight that I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to put these on no more. It's the video of me measuring myself. 31 and a half inches. Last time I was 33. Fupa, 37. Before, 39. Chest still the same. Chest still 37. Right thigh, 23 and a half. I, I gotta get up here. The thigh is 25 and a half. I lost one inch in my thigh. 43, 43. I was 44. And before that was 44 and a half. 
six and a half inches lost. All right, so you can see I have lost, I think it was six and a half inches all over my body, all right? So I am so excited that the fact that I am still achieving some goals, except for it is not coming off the scale and that is perfectly fine, which I have no idea why. <laughs> I don't get it. Why is it that this time around, I cannot lose anything? I can't lose any pounds off the scale this is so embarrassing, but it's okay. All right, so next week will be my fourth week and I will give like a little update of exactly how much weight if I lost anything, all right? And this is gonna be a little tough because I'm supposed to be going to a birthday party Friday and I don't know what I'm gonna do. So we'll see what happens next week, all right? So I hope you kind of like enjoyed this little rant and... <laughs> And my little keto struggle here about, you know, me not losing any weight, lose weight, gain weight, however, and, you know, getting into ketosis. And now that I'm in ketosis, I want to stay in it and I don't want to get off. So please make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any of your keto struggles. Have you had any? Are you having any? If you're not having any, I believe we know what the common denominator is, is, you know, stay away from the high keto alcohols. But even when I wasn't doing it, I feel like I still should have lost more than just three pounds the first week. But I am going to give my body grace. Sometimes we go through a lot of changes and hey, I'm 43 years old. Honey, just stay tuned. All right. Become a bridesmaid and I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. Goodbye, gorgeous.